What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Sorry, apparently I'm having a fucking micro ant infestation right now. Uh, I left a couple cans of pop. They're drank on my desk. Uh, and they're having a heyday. There's just like, there's not a ton of them, but definitely one running across the desk there. Anyways, fuck. So much for that intro. Um, how you doing? Uh, Last War 2.0 random midweek matchup versus the Karate Monkeys, part of the BFD family. Uh, it was a good war, uh, fairly even. Um, pretty close breakdown, I forget. It was even enough. Uh, we actually had a 12, though, not make both of his attacks, and they had a guy miss his attack, too. It was just, again, one of those midweeks where uh, you just do your best, kind of throw some new attacks out there, use it for practice. Uh, turned out to be a fun war. It was good. Had a lot of attacks to show. Unfortunately, no 12v12 action. Uh, we had a couple of close ones at the end. I think Pred with a 96 uh, and an 89. So uh, nice job there, but not quite enough to get three stars. I'm obviously not going to show those, but a ton of attacks going down the chains. Let's start. Um, actually, let's start with this one. So this guy, JP Wiza, going against this very low uh, tiered Town Hall 10. So I'm going to pause this because there's a there's three attacks, actually. I, I made this attack against this lower tier, so I'm going to kind of explain my concept of what I was thinking when I was planning it. Obviously, with the low-level Infernos and defenses and everything. Not a, a, not a up to par uh, Town Hall 10. But then we're going to watch um, our boy Wiz goes in. He actually gets a six-pack, I believe, with two of the same attacks against a much higher tier Town Hall 10. Um, so it carries through. And we had just watched one Hive Gazette do, uh, do a bit of a tutorial on Miners. To me, like, I'm getting it, but fuck. They are hard to track. That's my problem. Like, you'll heal somewhere because you'll be like, oh, there they are. And then you'll sort of look on the other side, and there's a much larger group down there. And you're like, oh, man. Anyways, uh, is what it is. So my plan here was to create my funnel on either side. Baby D going down to 12 and 9. Just wanted to kind of, like, curl them into to basically these larger storages. Uh, start the siege in here at the wall record. Just get in there and start working in. I really want to get the CC out of the way. Maybe in the defense of Queen as well. Uh, heroes in on other sides. Heroes are going to do work. Take out these compartments and just send miners right into the middle. Because once they get into this sort of core of the base, uh, there's not a lot of structures for them to get through. Really, the clan castle that uh, looks restored. So you're going to see I barely get this dragon taken care of out of the CC. That would have ripped my raid apart. Uh, did that freeze. I was hoping the dragon was going to get just enough of that poison. Uh, but unfortunately, it does not. And my hero queen here, just in time with the ability. <laughs> and she finishes off the dragon. Perfect. Okay, so we got miners going in all sides of the base, right? They're just going to kind of work through these, these higher hit point structures on the outside and just sort of converge in uh, in a V-shape and take care of the rest of the defenses here and just heal down either side, sort of a double heal there as they work through this uh, little Tesla farm. That was a little bit of trouble. You know, I wanted to let these few miners finish off this DE storage. Uh, I looked up here, saw a nice chunk of miners working in through these defenses to so drop my uh, third heal over there. Still have one heal for this back end, but you can see other than the mortars, there's no wizard towers. Um, I believe they do hit a bomb, but not a lot of huge. Yeah, there goes that bomb, but it really is only on a couple of the miners and they're under heal. So it really sort of ended up being perfect. Miners are obviously going to clean the rest of this base up. There's still a ton of them to go. So yeah, it's three in the bag. Still a ton of miners, right? So I mean, even with the higher tier, it's the same setup. Who knows? But uh, nonetheless, it's a three star. So we're going to go back, mix a dump. We're going to try and cruise through this attack too. So you're going to see this beautiful little uh, zap quake action. Gets the, get, drops the two here. He waits for the third zap. And then you, drops a little higher to make sure that he gets that sweeper at the same time. Good job with that mix. A nice little job with the, the three zaps and the one earthquake. Goes in, gets an early dragon down on this town hall over here, which is nice. It's going to have free reign. Make sure it takes care of that. Uh, goes in, gets the suicide heroes in down at three o'clock. King down, queen in behind. Basically, just going to create a good uh, a good funnel and take care of a lot of the trash on the outside of the base here. King's working his way around. The queen's going to step up, take care of that air defense and arch tower and all that sort of jazz, which is nice. And in come a few balloons to drop on this expo while the dragon does tanking. 
nice little use of uh, of the mine or the balloons there. Thought that was a good job by Mix. Uh, see, the king got pretty good value. Took care of a lot of stuff, and the queen almost takes that arch tower, not quite. Uh, but she does really get the air defense. That was her main purpose over there. Funnels created, right? There's not a lot of trash on the outside. That dragon takes a black mine to the face, but it did its work. Once that town hall really went down, didn't really matter. Didn't quite get that expo down with the balloons, but it has like one HP to go. So dragon breath, it goes down. Balloons in. Everything's going to start working through. Rage goes down. Now, this defensive queen is having its way with those balloons at the moment. Um, but you see that pup doing a little bit of work. See, she... She turns and takes care of it. You're going to see these dragons here lock on, though, in a moment. And they're still under rage. The one, two dragons move up. Down goes the defensive queen. Still has a bunch of balloons over here on the back end. Uh, six dragons working their way through the base. Balloons hit the haste. Help out with the expo. Get in on top of that wizard tower. I think he ends up losing them here. But down goes the whiz tower. Still just needs to let the drags work through. Uses the baby D there is going to take out uh, that mortar, but takes a black mine in the face. He'd much rather lose a baby D than a full D to a black mine. So good work with that. Way too many drags for this base to handle at this point. Down it goes. Nice job, Mixalots. Boom. All right, 22. And here is my other three star. This one's a little dicey. These ice switch attacks can get real hairy come right down to the end. I think I had a few seconds left in the raid. Um, plan this one out with Eric. Uh, we were I was going to come in from six, try and get both Infernos on entry, but he's, he was worried about the wall record um, not making it up past this core. So we decided to sort of re-angle things, get the witches in at nine and, nine and uh, six instead of... Uh, you know, on either side, and go straight in at this Inferno Tire. You can see the freeze go down, get all three of those. Just want to let that wall wrecker open up this compartment, let everything and all those skellies go flying in, which helps out a lot. Get the double freeze down on the queen and back down that Inferno Tower. Want to give it some time. One more freeze again, I believe, is going to go down. Yeah, there it goes to stop that queen. One more time, stop that balloon from dropping any bombs on the wall wrecker. Really just had to make sure the wall wrecker made it to this wall, and it does. Opens it up. Queen and Fort, and you know what's funny when we were planning this hit, it was a fresh hit. The only thing we were worried about was a hound in the CC. We're like, that's probably the only thing that's going to give it trouble because the queen is, was really going to help out with a lot of these defenses. But this whole time she's been beating on that lab hound. Finally, it bursts. I also, if you notice down here, I dropped a giant and some wall breakers to open this compartment. My goal was I needed this witch to jump in and help out on this Inferno Tower. And then my healer goes to swap to the queen again. I don't know what is with my healers. My healers will swap to my queen from like the other side of the map. It's kind of ridiculous, but it's okay. She It actually ends up working out well. She lasts just long enough to bust through the wall, take care of this Inferno Tower and this storage. And you'll see all of these witches up here doing work. I mean, it's a little bit of a fast forward because uh, really now it's just a matter of these witches working their way around the base. Uh, he, I do lose uh, a couple witches here and it gets really scary at one point. See, the queen finally does go down, but the witches can target all of this now. So at this point, I'm talking to I'm like, okay, well, I think I got it. I think I got it. And you see I lose a couple witches there. I think I lose that one too now. Yeah, down it goes. So I'm down to three witches now at this point. They're just trying to create skellies as fast as they can. I end up losing a healer. It's like, at this point, I'm like, oh, shit. Am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? And I'm like, okay, I think I got it. I got it. I got it. And then it just took forever for these last couple buildings to go down. But with seconds to go, down goes that barracks and you get the three-star. And my first six-pack since uh, my retirement. So, Kablam. Nice job there. Now we got my man Beck going in. <sighs> a little recap juice, always a good good sign. Goes in, drops the uh, drops the little queen walk here. It's gonna take care of this all this twelve o'clock section. Get rid of this air defense, and then sort of she walks along, and I think he ends up sending the wall wrecker uh, straight in from about ten o'clock. There gets the funnel done on the other side. Um, See all this go down in one moment, and then Queen walks in, takes care of that other air defense. The defensive Queen, she gets really good value as she moves into that core. Now there is the wall wrecker. Here comes the Wiz King combo to help things out. Just get the funnel created for that Queen and make sure she pushes right in behind the wall wrecker. Out comes the Clan Castle. So down goes this poison. There it is. Right over the Queen and the Clan Castle plus the freeze. Really nice job on that. Has to open up that compartment for his Queen. 
who does so nicely is going to let the wall record go here in a moment. Uh, and what comes out again? He's got bowlers in there. Yeah, he does. Would have been nice to have a rage and um, oh, a golem, golem. That's right, golem in the wall. <laughs> that was clutch. I forgot about that. But uh, it does enough tanking on these single target infernos just to let the queen move in. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't get a lot of damage. Like I think maybe if he had had. Uh, like Valk Giant combo in there. It would have really cleared out all that trash in the core and just let the queen start targeting all that stuff on the outside. But you're going to see, it doesn't really matter. Hound comes in, the two air defense way on this side of the base. Always scary when you send in your Lalo and you know your uh, your Lava Hounds are going way far away from your balloons. So you've really got to make sure the haste keep all the balloons moving to get, get over those Lava Hounds as quickly as possible. You're going to see basically the last structure remaining is that air defense other than a couple cannons. Uh, but so he's out of balloons now at this point. Uh, does not have quite enough to get through that air defense, but you're going to see the queen ends up coming in, saving the day here in a moment, because she does not have much cleanup. There's really only the mortar cannon and air defense. Just a matter of time at this point. Got a bunch of minis helping out. Hits the ability to make sure that um, she steps up and helps the minis out. Keeps that going. Probably was just a time factor now at this point. Down it goes. See you later. Three in the back. back. Nice job. Beautiful, uh, a couple bullies there, and good old Warble. I uh, love this attack, very just diverse troop comp. Uh, 10 bowlers with the golem, uh, sort of like a go hobo uh, variation. Gets the bowler bounce going on that mortar. He's gonna sort of go in right at this uh, sort of 10 o'clock compartment. He wants to take care of this uh, and end up hogging the rest, I believe. Um, is this the attack? Yeah, it's Town Hall 11 attack was the where he used the interesting wall record, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so anyways, you're going to see some giants come in, do a little bit of tanking, a bunch of wizards behind, just get the funnel going off the 12 o'clock section. A couple hogs in on the mortar, just to make sure that um, the golem does not uh, route over to the mortar. Once the wall gets opened up, it's going to go right into this inferno tower. Once that inferno tower goes down, you're going to see everything sort of move right in towards the defensive queen. CC's about to come out. There it is. Poison's going to go down. There it is. Wall record doing work. Nice little job with the freeze. Bowlers are in. Golem is in. King goes for a walk, though. That was sort of the only problem there, but it doesn't really matter. And, in fact, it kind of ends up working out well for him. Queen's working on the dragon. Down it goes. Bowlers are just smashing everything under that rage. And you're going to see, really, other than that cannon, there's only this top section and then a couple sort of things on the back end he's got to worry about with these hogs. So the only 17 hogs, but a heal spell is going to go down. Has one more for this sort of back end section, which is perfect. His defense, uh, his queen is there with uh, quite a bit of health still going. She's going to get some work done. King still working on the outside. Has not taken any damage and still has his ability intact. So looking good at this point. Just got to make sure those hogs slowly start working their way through to those last few defenses. Does get the heal down. Not quite enough. To, uh, to get through everything, but with everything sort of converging with itself, ends up being good. It does have to hit the king ability here. There it goes. You see these hogs pitter out now. Down goes that last hog. The queen takes care of that wizard tower, and only trash remains. Warble comes through with a very nicely planned attack. Just love the, love the diverse troop comp there, buddy. Sexy. All right. Good old Sar. So this is actually uh, our man CBG back in uh, 2.0. Uh, man, this guy, this guy knows his shit. Um, love watching him attack. He's a very, very talented attacker. Really glad to have him back. Um, and you're going to see why. He gets the giant end, do a little bit of tanking, kind of gets his funnel created here, sends the sends the uh, king and queen in. Idea is he needs to get a couple of these air defenses out of the way, and they're easy pickings for this queen. You can see she'll uh, finish off this stuff on this side. King's going to sort of walk up this way. There's only uh, only going to be a couple, uh, or I think even maybe one air defense remaining after this. Because that wizard does step up, I believe, and get that uh, get this other, the third air defense there. There she goes. And down goes that third air defense. So really good opener with one giant, a couple wizards, and his heroes. Gets three air defenses out of the way. Uh, and you're going to see that early haste spells. That's something I got to get used to as well. So it sends in the blimp. It goes first. Balloons in behind. Has one lava hound in on this air defense. And he's going to have one more lava hound 
uh, sending in from the, the two, two, three, 230 section. Uh, balloons in all over. He's just kind of sort of working through this core. Very spread out base. Does not really have a very like crazy V shape, but 12 o'clock, there's no defenses. So he knows everything's going to converge into the core and then sort of back out into the rest of the back end of the base. Uh, nice little free spell over the Wizard Tower. Buy every time. Like, look at all of the balloons. It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Not many defenses remaining. Like, did he lose any balloons on this raid? I don't think so. <laughs> Lava Hound still with tons of health left. Absolutely crushed this CBG. Nice job, buddy. Three in the bag. Okay. So 16, Erickson. Bringing the ice switch. Uh, very boxy base. Uh, I think it's a good choice for the ice switch. Uh, goes in and gets it down just above the 9 o'clock, more like 10 o'clock, I guess, there. Uh, and then down more like the 7 o'clock section. Really going to get his funnel created. Wants to move this wall wrecker in through this uh, Inferno Tower compartment and open up this core with these longer sort of uh, slotted compartments there. And once he gets everything in there, he's going to get bounces to almost everything. And you see how this works out. Poison down, freeze down. Uh, just wants to take care of that clan castle. Needs to preserve the, the wall record. Is used to probably I think four freezes now at this point. Freezing, you know the uh, j like on this on your entry with this ice switch. It's so important. Don't save your freezes. Like you cannot end up in the back end of the raid when you only got you know some witches moving with a handful of freezes. The whole purpose is to make sure your wall record does what it did here. Open up pretty much this entire core, let everything bounce, and you're gonna see that even uh, the bowlers under the rage quickly smash through this little corner and let everything into that last Inferno Tower compartment perfectly. It's got witches moving around the 12 o'clock to take care of that stuff. Still has a little bit of stuff sort of down here starting to pit her out, but no big deal. Still has the queen ability intact. She's going to work on these last few defenses here while the rest of these witches kind of take care of the... They're just going to work. I love how the skelly stopped there. If they, everything just kept going, the witches would have taken that care of that. No problem. Doesn't matter though. You see this finally finish up. She does take down... The queen does take down that uh, last Tesla... Uh, but it's really going to be now up to these witches to get work done. And like I said, it's probably just like my raid. It, it was all a matter of time. Luckily, this queen bursts out there and didn't try and go back for this cannon or she would have been dead and wouldn't have been able to help out. Uh, and you're going to see she gets good value and the healer's lock back onto her. So a little bit of luck on Erickson's side here because he's got to beat through another wall even now and a dark elixir storage. Time must have been a factor to this, but comes away for three. Nice job, my friend. Ooh, another ant. What are these assholes doing? Man, I am so bleaching my whole freaking office after this. This is this is not good. Not normal. <laughs> All right, what do we got? So, okay, Wiz. So this is uh, not one of these minor attacks. So 37 minors, only two wizards and a baby D. You're going to see him use his, uh, his queen on this side uh, to take care of this funnel. Gets the wall wrecker in right away. And King and some Wizards on the on the 12 o'clock to create the funnel as well. Um, so the idea here is he wants to get into these very long compartments with the Wall Wrecker. Um, nice, nice that it's a Hound in the CC because um, it really you don't have to worry about pulling it. I mean, other than that balloon, there isn't much damage that CC comp is going to do to the Miners. So Miners are all going to lock on this defensive Queen. Rage goes in. Really, it's all defenses in this core, so he just sort of spreads them out, and he's taking care of all. Look how fast all these defenses are going down. Still has two heals. He's going to heal this bottom corner. He's going to heal this other side with all these cannons, I believe. Oh, and it's looking good at this point. Still has a cleanup Miner, I guess. <clears throat> uh, but just everything gets shredded, right? That hound doesn't know what to do. He's trying to lock on those miners and do damage. Just perfect. You know, it doesn't have to worry about the queen bursting or anything. Last heal goes down over that expo, letting the miners do their work. Still has a ton of them on either side. Absolutely ripped up this base. Nice job, Wiz. Boom. Oh, build is that. Right on, right on. So that was 15. Notorious going in with uh, one goal. I'm a little uh, 
a little cold blooded uh, go ho here. Goes against the Bowler Master to uh, create a bit of a funnel. He, he really wants to go in and take care of these heroes. You're going to see the cold blooded golem go in. Baby D down to help start the funnel on the other side. A couple more ways. He's being very picky with where he's dropping these to take care of these buildings. <coughs> Once he gets his funnel created, gets that queen down. Everything's just going to move right in towards this uh, this chamber. <clears throat> Wall Wrecker's going to open things up there. King's going to go in. Uh, the golem does go down finally, but doesn't matter. Gets the rage spell down. You're going to see this all pop out in a moment. Poison is going to go down. Interesting choice to have a P.E.K.K.A. in the CC there, but it goes ahead and gets the one poison down over top. King rages it up, takes care of the P.E.K.K.A., takes care of everything else. King goes for a walk. Doesn't really matter. Ends up working out as well. You're going to see the queen kind of step up, and actually she ends up picking off this Inferno Tower at 9 o'clock. Ends up being very, very clutch, because you're going to see sort of the hogs. Now that he's taking care of this whole, is dug out, this whole V-shape at the 12 o'clock, uh, you're gonna see the hogs come in and basically just work, again, the V-shape works straight down and straight back up. And he's got four heals. So he's gonna get one heal down over the bomb and double wizard towers, no biggie. He's got another heal for this bottom section, another heal for this section, plus a bonus heal. So there goes the first one, 30 some hogs going in there. <laughs> they don't stand, uh, these defenses do not stand a chance if he was, uh, uh, it should be using the poison on these skeletons, and I think he does in a moment here. Poison, 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 poison. Maybe not, but whatever. Still has that last healer. It doesn't matter. There's so many hogs here moving in. This uh, compartment does not stand a chance. Finally gets that poison down. Take care of those skellies. Doesn't matter. All these defenses do not stand a chance. Down goes the Tesla Expo Sweeper. Goodbye, base. Cleanup wizards all around. King still going. Crushing it. It's like I crushed that beer. Bam. All right, very nice. Erickson cleaning a six pack here. <coughs> Bringing the P.E.K.K.A. Interesting use of the P.E.K.K.A. Thought that was kind of cool. Um, I believe he gets the, yeah, there's the first witches down at eight o'clock there and the other is P.E.K.K.A. And he doesn't bring the extra healers. That's right, he brought P.E.K.K.A. instead of the healers. You can see how this sort of works out. Gets the witches down. I think he even has less witches up at this top. Like usually it's 14 witches he's bringing, but this was a much different uh, comp than his normal ice witch, that's for sure. Uh, gets that king taken care of out of the way. He's got the Pekka in there helping out. Now let's open up. The Pekka's going to help out a bit. Poison down on the CC with that freeze. Really should probably just miss that freeze again. Um, wanted to get that bomb tire to sort of preserve the skellies. Doesn't really matter. You're going to see this work out. Queen moves up. Peck is following in. He's going to rage up this core once this uh, <coughs> gets a, a second last freeze down. He knows the wall record's about to go. I think he just wants to take care of this one last wall there. And then... Am I crazy? Yeah, there it is. Heal, rage, let it go. Out come the bowlers. They're going to bounce, take care of all that stuff. Uh, Pekka bursts open that Inferno Tower chamber and then dies, but it doesn't really matter because that was his job. Open things up for the kill squad there. Down goes that last wizard tower. There's only a couple cans on his backside. A little bit of trash, a few scattered defenses here, but this base doesn't stand a chance at this point. Way too much to go. Queen steps up, takes up the mortar. Nicely done. Everything's get let. Everything's let out now. And really, with the queen with some healers on her and all of this stuff in front of her, this base is done for. At a boy, Eric. Nice six for yourself, my friend. Little boy there is Wiz completing his minor six pack. So you're going to see 37 miners, one dragon, one whiz. The exact same comp we saw uh, him use the last time. So he's going to sort of do it from the other side now. So drops the wizard, take care of the army camps. He's just going to get his funnel going on either side. He's going to drop a baby D to help out as well. Got the other wizard. Yeah, there goes the baby D. You know, and drop the king. One more wizard. There it is. Just starts to want to work everything in. Wall wrecker is going to go in. Start doing the tank in. And early miners. Sends the miners in with uh, the wall wrecker at this point. Um, all of them lock onto the king, but it doesn't really matter. And it does sort of let the miners go astray here. Excuse me. Uh, just because this funnel wasn't complete on this side. So the, a handful of the miners go up. Turns out to not be a big deal, though. He's got enough that are just sort of start working through this core. Everything's going to lock on. He's got that first heal spell down. 
Raid spell goes down over the core, over that queen, over that clan castle, over top those bomb towers, right? He's got to get that heal down as well. Still has two heals to go, one for each set of wizard towers on the outside, which is really nice. And you'll see sort of the handful of miners that split off. It worked out really well because they're just sort of doing cleanup and they're going to end up meeting back up with the rest of the miners here. See those two heals down over those wiz tower farms. Keep things going. That was the only thing that stood a chance of stopping these miners. So, again, Hound in the CC. If you see a Hound in the CC and there's not a great way to deal with it, um, miners are a very viable option. You really just got to get that funnel going. Make sure your spells are on point. Uh, and it, it, it's been very successful uh, from what I've seen so far. So, you're going to sort of see miners just sort of tinny to work through this base. They're all sort of spread out now, taking care of trash. <laughs> Poor Hound is like, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Down goes that uh, Tesla and down goes the Builder's Hut. Nice. Minor six pack for Wiz. Beautiful. All right. So I think we got some 11 Vs now to show you. Uh, a couple lower tier 11s. Um, still nothing uh, nothing to laugh at. These are not necessarily the easiest of attacks. Goes ahead and sends in a battle blip full of balloons. Takes care of two air defenses, an inferno tower, bunch of other shit at the same time. Crazy good value out of that uh, out of that blimp. So nice job there, JC. Even gets a extremely low level wizard tower uh, out of the way as well. Uh, goes ahead and gets that baby D down, gets the king down there, and start doing work on that funnel. <clears throat> Queen in to help out. Wants to sort of clear out this side, and I believe step up and take care of the defensive archer queen. Um, is that what happens here? I'm pretty sure that's what happens here. Yeah, everything's going to walk down. Uh, defense, uh, his queen's going to step into this slot right here, and you're going to see as soon as that queen walks in there, hit, hit that king ability. There it is. <coughs> so also some very interesting, especially Town Hall 11, some very interesting base designs. I know it's mid midweek, so you're not using your top CWL bases, or at least we aren't. Um, so, I mean, you're going to see uh, how this works out. Oh, that's right. He uses the skellies. So the queen does it. I think that was the next attack. Uh, gets the skellies in there. Down those goes that defensive queen. Uh, what if you waited a minute, his queen would have stepped up and ended up taking care of business. But look at all the balloons at this point. There's no defenses left, guys. And there is 20 balloons plus going around right now, just smashing everything. Clean up in the bag. Minis in the bag. Just absolutely crushes it, JC. Nice job, buddy. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. JC putting up sickers, sixers like it ain't no thing. Okay, so battle blimp in. Crazy value again. Let's take an air defense. Let's take an inferno tower. Let's take an expo. Let's take another archer tower. And why not a wizard tower, too? Looking good. And you know what? Since we're at it, let's drop a couple more balloons to take care of the Tesla and Mortar. So insane opening because he's already created his balloon pathing uh, in this very sort of like X style base. Like it's kind of like you see the defenses in this X. So he's taking out that bottom part underneath in the middle of the bottom of the X. So he just sort of knows, it, again, it's like this, this V shape over the base. See all the balloon pathing is just going to go up. And some, some stuff's going to go through the core because the core is very uh, defense heavy. Uh, but really just sort of gets balloons in once this sort of 12 o'clock section gets taken care of. Doesn't really matter. Grand Warden in there protecting those balloons. Uh, really, there's nothing that can target air other than this top part. But down goes the Wizard Tower. Down goes all this. And again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, like, 20, 25 balloons he's got going on right now. Just ridiculous. Absolutely smashes it. And still has a rage. Still has a haste. Still has his skelly spell. Didn't need any of that stuff. We'll forget what we just saw. The little swag on the right. JC crushing it. Nice job. All right. So before Warbolt makes this attack, we're going to do a lot. Have a little uh, little action going on here. I do want to say as well. So, CWL is on break this week. Um, we are having a one high family uh, scrim, and I only work till five on Saturday, which is fucking awesome. And I'm pretty sure I'm staying in Saturday night. I'm drinking. I am, you know, I'm gonna have a good evening. We'll just say, and I'm gonna stream as much of the war as I can. Be blasting tunes. 
uh, having a good time. So come join me. Uh, I know I don't Twitch stream. I YouTube stream for everyone who just cringed when I said that. I just, it's so much easier. I don't know. I don't want to set up the account. I don't know how to, again, I'm not a professional on any means. I just do it to have fun. So anyways, I will blast that out for anyone who watches this video before Saturday. Come check it out. One high sort of mixed family scrim. I believe Prime's involved. So I think it's 1.0, 2.0 Prime. Might even be more. I have no idea. But uh, we all, it was a draft style by uh, two, uh, two of the ladies in the clan, Suze and Neon. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, and I can't wait. I'm looking forward to that. So uh, cheers to Warble's attack here. So you're going to see why. Now, I didn't understand. I really hope it was a stack. It better be a stack. No, it wasn't a stack. Damn it. It's the next one. Yeah, not the next one. Not the next one I'm showing, but the next, the other one, I should say, that Warble did. Um, but it's still a nice stack. A little, just standard bitch stack. Spread your giants. Spread your witches. Bowlers concentrated in the center. Protect that wall wrecker. Open up as much of the base as possible. Poison the CC troops. Make sure your queen's in there taking care of the CC. Get that eagle down as fast as possible. Get that defensive queen down as fast as possible. And open up this base. You're going to see that. Nice little Grand Warren ability once they engage the heroes. Let everything go down. Rage is, uh, Rage is kind of pushing everything through. <clears throat> Let's everything in the core. Wall Wrecker did its job. Really just opened up this large, large compartment that gives access to all of these. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven defenses on the backside. Uh, Queen's in there trying to break through the wall on this side instead of following everybody. But whatever, it ends up working out as it is. Because it gets that jump spell down, unlocking the last few defenses. This base is done for. Absolutely crushing it. Or it's like record time on this attack. Down it goes. See you later. And that's a three star for war. So we're around 11 out of 10, as obviously, as you know. So that makes it, that was uh, nine, nine star war, I think, for warp here. So we're going to show Lay's attack, and I'm pretty sure, pretty sure the other one's warp. Maybe I'm wrong. We will find out. <clears throat> so uh, another bitch attack here. You're going to see giants on the other side protecting the witches. Few witches, few bowlers. Get the funnel going down. Wall wrecker up the middle. Seven more bowlers. All this hero is going to push into this core. Goal being obviously get to this compartment in the middle. If he can make, if he can make this compartment in the middle and then use a jump to unlock the backside, it's GG, right? Um, just got to make sure this clan cask is taken care of. Here it comes. Poison down. Nice little freeze to sort of stall everything a bit. Wall record does get broken, so it does have to use the jump a little bit early, right? So really the only concern was this backside, these sort of backside defenses. Um, but anyways, it's okay. It's kind of weird how this worked out. The king busts through this to a six o'clock compartment. You're going to sort of see everything work out. Queen, again, very wonky pathing for his heroes on this attack. Uh, but Lay pulls it out. That jump lets... The bowler's in, takes care of the Inferno. That was really important that that Inferno went down there. And same with this bottom side uh, compartment. Because now, at this point, still has the Queen ability. She's going to step up, do a little bit of cleanup at 12. Uh, and he's got his King, Warden. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven witches maybe. And a bunch of bowlers doing work on this backside. Just sort of relying on the King to bust open this wall here. And time might have been a bit of a factor on this raid. Because uh, you can see his queen does go down. Bowlers and warden stuff have to do some work. You start Things are starting to get thinned out a bit. Doesn't really matter. Down it goes. Down goes the arch tower. Three stars in the bag for Lay. Nice job, buddy. Boom. All right. And I think I got one more. So let's try this again. Since I'm feeling, since I'm feeling spicy tonight. Okay. It's a warble. Check this army count. I'm going to pause. So he just sent in one giant, I think, maybe two, uh, with four, bowl, four bowlers. He wants to get bounces onto these defenses, which he does. Uh, he's going to go ahead and create the funnel on this side and send in a normal kill squad because he's got wall breakers. Wall breakers and a wall wrecker. So... I wasn't involved in the planning of this attack, 
But as I first, I didn't get to see it live either. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing with your wall record? And you're going to see how it works out. So here we go. So we come to bounces. Things are looking uh, pretty standard at this point. Yeah, there was two Giants, which is good. He needed both. Maybe even three Giants. Whatever. Three Giants. Yep, three Giants. <laughs> King down on one side. Goal him in. I probably would have dropped my goal in first. So the King didn't start taking damage. But it doesn't really matter. That Archer Tower goes down quickly. Um, and sends in everything from 12. And breaks the uh, a couple of wall breakers. And pretty ballsy there too. Nice little nice little raise there to make sure the wall gets broken. Um, so let's everything in. Everything funnels in. Nice, but look how wide that funnel is. Everything moves in the core. Poison down. We'll take care of the CC. One more rage. Looking good at this point. At this point in the raid, I was like, you forgot your wall wrecker. But wait, you used wall breakers there. So it was intentional, obviously. All right, cool. Why not? So let's everything in the court. Basically gets a good section of base taken care of. Okay, Eagle's down now. Now. And goes in and sends in the Hawks. And really, you're going to see a little L-shape. There's, there's nothing. There's three air defenses. Yes, both Inferno Tower compartments. But that's it. Uh, Wizard Tower there. Little bit of stuff here. But like there is not a lot for the amount of Hawks he brought. And at this point, I'm like, in comes the wall record. What? So the wall wrecker goes in, and I think out come, out come a bunch of Max Hawks. <laughs> okay, cool. So it lets the wall wrecker into that part of the base and just lets a bunch of Max Hawks fall out of it and join the, join the brigade. Only a few defenses to go at this point. The defensive king was trying his best there, but he doesn't stand a chance. Queen steps up, takes care of business, tons of Hawks to go. Fucking horrible. Nine star war. That's my boy. Ontario, Canada, bitches. Boom. <clears throat> all right, so that's all I got to show you. I wish I, I wish this attack right here was a three. It was very, very close. The Queen AI was a little bit wonky. Um, I thought he had it at one point and just, just pittered out just in time. If he had got the expos down. It definitely would have been a three, but like the balloons just faded out just just too early. So uh, nice try, Fred. You're uh, you're still you're still my uh, you're still my number one. And uh, yeah, you know, check out this. I haven't looked at this count in ages, and reason being is I am on my ten, jumping over one point oh for the family scram. So I want to leave him here, make sure I got this recap in. Uh, holy Christ, I have not played actual wiser in i don't remember uh but whatever i use it for video purposes it's kind of nice having that extra account too because then i can have him and so i can check out friendly challenges i can do whatever while i'm logged in on my tablet which is nice anyways uh guys karate monkeys great war you know not obviously fun little practice war uh we had uh we had dak there or daz sorry um not use both attacks. I'm not 100% sure what was up with that. I'm sure he had spoken to leadership and it was just something happened in real life. Uh, you know how it is sometimes. But uh, yeah, 87, 86. Uh, Karate Monkeys, appreciate it. Uh, look forward to the family stream. And obviously I'm going to recap that because that's going to be fun. Uh, honestly, it's... Um, it's no debt for sure, uh, but those things are just those things are just fun because everyone's just there's there's competition but there's not right. It's everyone's just going in having fun. People are hitting the, the people are hitting their sort of arch enemy arch nemesis is whatever you want to say. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. I can't wait to do it. Uh, Saturday night, guys, join me. I should be streaming by like seven p.m. Eastern. Uh, so check it out. Check it on Twitter. I'm gonna I'm gonna post everything up. But uh, that should do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Until next time, I'm out.